You know, the number one excuse is I don't have enough time. I always tell people there's 168 hours in a week. If you get eight hours sleep a night, well, there's 50 plus hours gone. You still have 110, 112 hours left. If you work 60 hours a week, you still have 55 hours left to go do what's important to you. So I don't really buy the time excuse, but that's the number one excuse that I hear. It's time to get real. It's time to get raw. It's time to look ourselves in the mirror and come to the resolve that this version of ourself is not going to carry us in the stretch. That I've been this version of myself long enough that if I don't change, if I don't do something about this, then I'm going to find myself bankrupt. A man is rewarded in public for what he does in private. Discipline is the single most important thing that you can use when it comes to being successful. Motivation is fleeting. No one wakes up motivated every single day. The key to success that you're looking for, the thing that's going to make your dreams come true is simple discipline. It's doing what needs to be done even when you don't want to, even when you're not motivated. You're only disciplined once a week. You're only determined twice a week. You're only, you're only enthusiastic about the journey on Sundays or Wednesdays. And once you get, once you get a covenant, once you make a covenant with who you believe God has called you to be, and you say, you know what? I'm going to commit to this. You're going to put the blood. You're going to put the sweat. You're going to put the tears in. You're going to lose sleep. You're going to go days without eating. You're going to do whatever it takes to make the sacrifices necessary to manifest. We give up too early. And if we just had a little bit of perseverance, if we just worked a little bit harder and just took it a day at a time, our dreams would come true. There are too many people in your life who have left you. There are too many people in your life who have counted you out. There are too many people in your life who have whispered in your ear and said, you'll be worse off without them. Prove them wrong. When I start off my day by investing in myself, I set the tone for the rest of my life and everything else falls into place because I've set a precedent that I'm important that I'm worth it, that I matter. And so I tell people, invest in you first, and then you have the energy, the drive, the passion to just uplift everybody else in your circle. Physical is the easy part. See, the physical part, all you gotta do is show up. If you could show up again, be all in, ask some questions, maybe we'll add be willing to suffer a little bit into that mix, you will be okay. The psychological preparation, that's a different story. I always say the mind is primary, and I always say that a, a strong mind is a catalyst for change. When you see the best athletes in the world either perform really well, or on the other hand, completely bomb out, it's because of that muscle that lives between the ears. We only have so much real estate in our minds and our hearts. We only have so much bandwidth in our mental capacity. And the more distractions, the more delusions, the more negativity that we allow to take up real estate in our hearts and in our minds, the less energy we have to fulfill the call, to fulfill destiny, to manifest the idea. Everything that you think about, that you meditate on, everything that has to your attention has to be worth your time. So now it's time to navigate and do an appraisal of everything that's in our life, everything and everybody in our life. Time to do an appraisal and ask it and ask them this question. Are you worth my time? If you're not, it's time to unplug. Time to unplug. Time to unplug. Three rules Bobby Maximus lives by. Number one, show up every single day. Number two, when you do show up, you want to be all in. You want to be 100% present. And number three, be curious. Ask some questions along the way. 
don't be scared to admit that you don't know everything. And if you can learn a little bit, along with showing up and being all in, the world is yours. If you want to be good at something, if you want to transform your body, you've got to spend 130 quality hours. And the next question I'm always asked is, what does that look like? It's an hour a day of dedicated practice for six straight months. If you want something, if you want to be good at something, you want to accomplish something, you've got to put in the time. And the minimum amount of time that you can put in is an hour a day of dedicated practice for six straight months. If you want to be good at something, you've got to do it every day. Like we look at people like LeBron James. Why is he good at basketball? Because he does it every day. You look at Wayne Gretzky in hockey. Why was Wayne so good in hockey, arguably the greatest of all time? Because he did it every day. And so my number one piece of advice to people, if you want to be good at something, whatever that thing, that you desire is, whatever your passion is, do it every single day. That's the real secret mm. to success. We celebrate athletes and we celebrate critical thinkers and innovators and actors and we praise them and coin them our heroes and we follow them by the millions. We love what they do in public, but you don't know the story behind the glory. You don't know the blood, the sweat. You didn't see the tears that they cry, the prayers that they pray the countless weeks where they went without sleep to get where they are. When you see somebody that's successful, your gut reaction is to think they're lucky. They had a great trainer. They had it easy. If I was in their shoes, I could do it too. And the thing that I would want to say is these people work harder than you can imagine. They show up every day. They do the work. They suffer. And so when you see somebody on a screen, rather than criticize, be grateful. Rather than try to cut them down, maybe try to learn a little bit from them because the, the amount of dedication that goes into that craft, a normal person will never understand. Mm. The secret of change is to focus all of our energy, not on fighting the old, but building the new and specifically behind closed doors when nobody's looking when no one is there to affirm you, when nobody's there to validate you, when nobody is there to agree with you, you build in the dark and you announce it when it's finished.